All right, in this video, I wanna show you the different uh, things you need to know when putting a MV rear seat into a GLS. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that the bolts are different. This is the, this is the seat folded down, it fits perfectly, but the bolts are different. So the normal bolts for your rear seat are going there and then up here, right? That's where the seats get bolted in for your rear seat. But the MV, the uh, the folding seats, the bolts go in here, right here and right there. So you can see them on the side, right? So there's no holes, so you need to drill holes there. But the good thing is there's dimples. And where they come through on the other side is next to the shock absorbers. So you can see right there. That's, that's where they go in next to the shock absorbers in the back. And then on the front, they go in there, right? So you can see where that, that is. It's just, just below. I don't know if you can get a good angle on it. There's a seat, it's there, right? And then it, it goes in there. So that's the first thing you're gonna need to know. And the second thing you're gonna need to know is the latch for the back seat, right? So it folds down, it sits nicely there. So let's fold this up. So to fold it up, you just simply fold it up and then you pull it back. So I'll fold it up and then I'll pull it back. But this latch here is too short. Look, it, it misses it. So you need to get the new latch from the junkyard too. The last thing, this one, this one goes in, it's fine. So the latch there works, but you need to get the bigger latch there. The next difference you need to know is the middle seats. I was wondering if the middle seats could stay in when pulling the bed out, but it can't because where the seats are mounted here, even if you turn them around and make them rear facing, the seats don't let the bed fold out entirely. I'll show you how to pull the bed out and what I mean by that. So to pull the bed out, you just grab here, the handle. Well, I gotta fold it down first. So fold it down and then I pull it out simply by here and see how they, see how they cover. So if the seats were in, it couldn't come out all the way and then it wouldn't be able to fold back. So to fold it back, you just simply fold it back and it fits snug there, right? So you can see it's snug there, but because of the configuration, um, I won't be able to leave the seats in. So because I have three kids, um, two in car seats and one sitting up, I need to have this middle seat. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it in when around the town. And then if we go on vacation, I'll just pull it out when we get there, I think. Um, yeah, but that's basically how you install the, the rear seat for the MV in the GLS. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, the bed, you're also gonna need to have the bed portion. In the GLS, the top thing goes right here, right? So the bed is gonna come here below. And so I'll show you what it looks like folded up. So lastly, just so you guys can see it folded up. These are things that I wanted to know and there wasn't a video out there about the GLS MV conversion, but because the GLSs are a lot less expensive. So when this folds up, it just folds in right there. Um, I'll show you it with me out. So you get a good view. So yeah. It sits in there nicely. A few things. This is the beginning of my GLS conversion. I'm going to make my GLS into a full camper. Put a refrigerator in there and everything. But you can buy these for like five grand and then do the upgrade yourself. Why buy one for 30 grand when you can buy one for five grand and just do some slight mods and make it work. All right, give me a follow and I will be posting more videos soon. Thanks.